It's a mixture of feelings when you prepare yourself for a convention. It's, it, it really is. Because it's, it's an opportunity to, to, it's like to reveal a new world. Come to a Congress and there's 500 or 1,000. They're all with this intention that we want to change. We, I want to get outside of me. And there's like this force created. So when you step into it, you know, you feel it. When you walk in the door, it's not like a blind date or it's not like mm, uh, just walking into a stranger's home or to some type of activity. Everybody has one thing in common and it's so easy to relate to these people because they all have all this, this one thing in common and that, that is connection. When you have so many people all in one place, all at the same time, all trying to achieve the identical thing, this sensation of desire, of actually wanting to be able to connect with your friend. When you come to a convention, you take everything that you studied into practice. Meaning, it's like trying to learn how to scuba dive without going into the water. The thing that happens in a convention is that you advance. For the first time in your life, you really feel the advancement. You really test the things that you've learned on other people, on yourself. How do you feel towards other people? How is it with you? What's this whole thing of studying with so many people together, sitting in one place? What does it mean when I sit in front of a friend or beside a friend and we sing together? How do we unite through a meal? I remember hearing about this, we've got to go and join this Congress that is happening. I didn't want to do it. I truly did not want to go. There's going to be a lot of people. I don't know. They're all going to know all the terms. They're going to know all these concepts. I don't know anything. How am I going to relate to them? How am I going to feel comfortable with her? I have to like put myself into it and then something changes. But it was like I couldn't even do it. But then as you're around the friends, it's like they start pulling you outside of yourself. That's the feeling of why do I need the group to exit Egypt because I felt myself like I'm like closed up. Like okay there they are. But then they they come up and it's like you feel them that they really care about you. <laughs> and then little by little they start pulling you away from that into them. You know but it was like a gradual it was a gradual thing. Unknown state on the one hand and desire that gets clarified and focused as you prepare yourself towards the convention, these two kind of uh, opposites are creating that feeling that I would call a preparation for the convention. So it's a mixture of both, you know, great expectation like a little child, like, yay, it's gonna be this or that, and it's also some sort of um, uh, very um, self-scrutiny of whether I'm prepared, whether I am directed well, whether I am uh, aimed at the right goal. And there is no material in the world ever has ever been written that has the ability to affect like the Zohar. So when you combine material like this, the study of material like this, with a bona fide Kabbalist of Lightman, with this massive power that has come together physically, all in the same place, all at one time, what it allows for is a massive, huge jump. And what's a jump? A change, a change in us, all at the same time. But the, the work doesn't stop before the convention or after the convention. The convention is just a, it's like a junction, that in this junction, we jumped, we made a leap. If I understand that this is the wisdom that will progress me to my goal in my life, a convention is a must. And without it, really, I can't go forward. So please, come join us. We're looking forward to seeing you all there, May 7th through the 9th at New York.